y'all. It's Cindy Cobb with Around the Town in the South, and I am in the big town of Duck Hill, Mississippi. Y'all, if you have not been to Duck Hill, there's something you have to see. I am sitting here with the Robinson family out here at Bull Bottom Farms. And how I found this farm was I wanted to go to a pumpkin patch that offered a lot. And on Google, this popped up, and I contacted Nick and Katie and Vicki, and I said, I want to come and do a showcase on your farm. I think it's amazing. I had no idea until I got here exactly how amazing it is, and it really is. Y'all, thank y'all for joining me. I really appreciate it. We're sitting with Nick, Katie, Vicki, Earl, and Jack. Tell us a little bit about, I think you're going to do most of the talking. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about how this Bull Bottom Farms got started. Um, this was originally Earl's dad's land, and he farmed it, and then um, Earl farmed it. And Nick and I had actually graduated Ole Miss and moved off to um, Nashville. Wait, that explains the red and blue hat. Yes. Maybe. Okay, <laughs> yeah. gotcha. Because I was like, where's the maroon or the blue <laughs> for adults? Gotcha. That's okay. the deal. Yep. So you'll find a red and blue hat here with Bull Bottom Farms. <laughs> it's a really cool hat. But go ahead. Okay, and so um, we were in Nashville and had not started our family yet. Nick and I have been together um, for a long time. We started dating in high school. so. Um, anyway, we were in Nashville working hard and just started thinking about wanting to start a family and not wanting to be so far away and all. And so we started brainstorming with Vicki and Earl and trying to figure out ways that we could get back. Nick had initially farmed with his dad before we moved away. So Nick had um, the knowledge to farm also. And so we knew that the row crop wasn't going to support all of us. And so we had to get creative and did some research and just found um, that some other farmers were doing ag tourism oh, wow. to supplement their row crop income. Mm -hmm. And so that's how Bull Bottom Farms was kind of born. Now, um, Mr. Bull originally owned this land before right. Earl's daddy. Okay. And they used to call this the Bull Place. And this oh. was Bull Bottom and up there is Bull Hill. Yeah. Is what it was always called. Okay. So anyway, um, that's where the name came from. And, then, and that's kind of how this was this part was born was just us wanting to get back home and be close to them before we started having children. True and Mississippians. Yeah, and that was a good move too because boy, did they help out with our kids a lot. So, so you now have two. We have two, Jack Henry and Caroline. That's awesome. Yes. Well, tell us a little bit about, um, first of all, we have the farmer over here, Earl. <laughs> I, I think it's amazing what it must feel like to have your family want to come home and not just be around you, but develop this amazing, t you said it best, t place to tour. This is a tourism place here in Mississippi that most don't even know about. Right, right. Uh, we've been open for 10 years, so we've had a lot of visitors mm -hmm. uh, uh, from all over the state almost. And, uh, uh, but having Nick and Katie move back here and work with us, it's, I mean, it's just a real privilege mm -hmm. to have children here. I know it. When I came up, one of the little grandsons was running around, and I thought, you know, this is the what I grew up in 25 years ago, 30 years ago, or maybe 40, right. telling my age a little bit. But I remember my granddaddy sitting out on the, the porch rocking with all the grandkids around. It just, you just feel like home when you come through that gate. Tell us a little bit about the farm, what you offer. Um, first off, let's talk about the admission, then we'll talk about what you okay. offer. We are actually getting ready to open this weekend. It's um, Saturday, September the 26th, and we'll be open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Sunday we'll be open from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, admission is $10 per person. We do let two-year-olds and under in for free. Um, we have a wide variety of pumpkins. How many? About 30 different varieties of pumpkins that we grow here on the farm, um, and they are priced just according to the size you pick out. per person. Did so what that? you get for that is, I got a tour earlier, which is amazing. There's things that you can't even see when you walk, when you come through this gate. And by the way, wear tennis shoes and, and something really comfortable because you're going to want to walk these. How many acres did you say it was? Uh, the land that my dad owns is a little over 170 You're acres. not going to walk that. How much <laughs> but, is the bull? But, but the bull bottom area that all the activities are in is probably 25 acres, I had to say. So yeah. everything that you'll see, I'm going to link their their information on here. The the corn maze, the uh, Jack. What's your favorite thing again? Pedal carts. The pedal carts. 
that that's in with the ten dollars tell us what the pedal parts actually are well you pedal them and they're not really motors but you just pedal them so you're and it's a race you're the engine your legs are the engine and you race each other y'all that is so cool so that's in with your ten dollars the the all of these slides everything that you see and even the ride around is with your ten dollars what you have to pay extra for is if you get anything in the gift shop which you will you're going to want to because they have some cool things what else the concession stand the gift shop pumpkins and we'll have somebody here face painting oh cool so that's fun and then also the corn cannon up the hill we charge to shoot that okay extra. so nick Yes. I have never seen a corn cannon until about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Tell us what the corn cannon, that's really cool. Tell us what it is. So basically it's just shooting with air to be safer. Um, but uh, we shoot, put a whole ear of corn in there and shoot it. And it'll, sh it'll launch it probably 250 yards. It's really cool. So it'll shoot really far. We've got big, targets, fun. We've got to big targets to shoot at and try to hit. Get a little competition with the dads and sons. And <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. There's a huge slide over there, but there's also nestled in the woods is a playground. Some of the tallest swings I have seen, I think, in my life. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So you definitely want to come out here, check it out. Um, I've lost my train of thought because I wanted to ask you a question. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Okay, on the pumpkin, uh -huh. if you want to go out there, do you ride them around and then if they choose to to get a pumpkin yes. they do they so, still get to ride in the cart and in the they can ride in the cow train that doesn't go to the pumpkin patch it just takes a little trip around the pond out there uh -huh. um the hay ride trailer that'll be hooked up to the tractor that takes a big tour around the farm you can see earl's land and you'll stop at the pumpkin patch and have the opportunity to get off and pick a pumpkin if you want to you don't have to but that's where all the varieties are and then we'll have some down here for sale too oh good so yes i remember my train of thought monday through friday yep. this is uh, uh by appointment only and it's mostly schools or groups is that correct, that's correct. Yeah. and they can find that information by calling you yes okay great now saturdays and sundays is when we can come and bring our families and i would definitely recommend we talked about uh, coming out here having a picnic this is a place you can just let your kids free to go explore this yes that's a rooster <laughs> or a chicken <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I'm a city slicker. <laughs> anyway, this is a great place. I would plan to spend the whole day. It's going to be worth every penny that you spend out here. Plus that, it is locally owned farmers. Listen, this corn maze back here, I'm not going to go through it, but I'm going to get a photo of it in a few minutes. And speaking of that, yeah. all around this um, this maze, this, this Bull Bottom Farm area, is um, these beautiful places to take photos. So if you need a family photo or you want to get your face in one of these little cutouts, which I think is mm -hmm. awesome, this would be a great place to dress up and come out here and get your photos taken too. It's amazing out here. I, I'm just so proud that I came out here, that I reached out to y'all. I mean, it's just amazing to me. Well, we're proud to have you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to say? Well, when you take the hay ride, mm -hmm. we travel through the pasture and uh, also through the cattle. Oh. So you can see the cows and calves and the bulls, and so uh, awesome. that's pretty neat. That uh, is. Yep. Kids love that. I bet yeah. they do. Yeah, and that, the other animals that we have, we have some goats and pigs and uh, rabbits and chickens just for the kids to come and look at. And we also, me and Jack together, we do a pig race that we have on the weekends with the public out here. Now, do you have time for that, or is that on your schedule that you actually have that schedule? For yeah, we, yeah, we do it. We do it kind of like two or three hour increments. Just gotcha. kind of depends on the day. That is awesome. Was well, there anything else you would like to say? Just come out and see us. Yeah. We're gonna be here. It's amazing. And look, I GPS it. I came right here with no problem. Hang on a second, Lacey's stuck. I came right here with no problem. Uh, it's almost like winter wonderland when you. T and it really is to me, although it's not snow, but it's just unbelievable out here that something is out here that is so big i mean it, it's amazing to me I, I just love it so i'll be riding around in a few minutes i'm going to give you all a tour on the um that looks like some kind of what, gator. gator i don't know what they're called but i'm, I'm gonna be on the gator so you can see get your family i'm going to link all this information check them out on their facebook page check them out on their um instagram and also check them out on their website you can find out all this information on there y'all thank y'all for joining us again we're in duck hill mississippi we are at Bull Bottom Farms. I see all the likes and, and all the hearts. I, I just love it too. One last thing I want to talk to you. Okay. You, you kind of, I actually got to talk to Vicki. 
you're out here from daylight start with them every day also. Mm -hmm. What's your about, favorite part out here? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> just the sounds, you know, it's just the peacefulness of it. It's just, it's a pretty place. It is we so pretty. It. Yeah. it is gorgeous. So come on out, visit them. This is a fall started today. As a matter of fact, today's the first day of fall. So get your uh, kids get together, get your groups together. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, tell them we said hello, hashtag Bull Bottom Farm yeah. and Around the Town of the South. And yes, that's Lacey. <laughs> y'all, thank y'all for joining me. We'll see you around Bye. the town.